Hello YouTube, this is Sean again, and I'm coming at you with another species profile. This time, it's the Pearl Gourami. Scientific name, Trichopodus leary, also called the, the, the leary gourami, lace gourami, mosaic gourami, or even diamond gourami. This fish reaches a max size of females, three, three to four inches, and males, four to five inches. A giga with a geographic range of Malaysia, Singapore, Borneo, and Indonesia, this fish is from extreme is from pretty warm tropical tropical waters of Southeast Asia. Um, these fish are also anabantoids like beta and other species of gouramis and paradise fish. So these fish need to have some sort of access to atmospheric air, be it a little bit of airspace at the top of the tank or just something that they can reach to use their labyrinth organ. Um, and like anabantoids, these are bubble nest breeding fish, one of the more peaceful species of gouramis to breed. With these, you can actually leave the female with the male after they finish spawning. She can stay in there with the male because he will not directly attack her or see her as a threat. Um, the, well, the male will protect the fry until they become free swimming and then he may eat them because for the time that he's protecting them, he doesn't eat. And I'd kind of be hungry too, but not justifying it. Males are larger and have a... <clears throat> sorry. And have a more pointed dorsal and anal fin. And also have that bright have the bright you see in this picture. The male is on top and the female is on bottom. You see how the female is kind of slimmer? Well horizontally slimmer. But if you look them straight like head on, they're wider. And the male has the bright red throat with the eyes on that black line. That black line is actually their lateral line, which is extremely important in the fish in any in in the survival of any fish it senses when anything happens in the water if anything moves in the water they can it's basically the reason why when you go fishing it can sense you before you can see it these fish live in the parameters this we, these fish can live in are 74 to 82 degrees fahrenheit and a ph of 6.5 to 8.5 now remember, they're from the warmer Southeast Asia, and they live in the soft, acidic waters of all that. And no, many people say that they're blackwater fish. I've never, well, I've yet to own them. I'm planning on getting them for my 55 gallon, and I'm not sure because I've heard things on that. So. If anyone's had them, can you please explain or give information on it? Um, these fish come in three different color color morphs. The this color, the tan white, tan white and red, a gold a gold color. It looks more like the female on this picture, which is the top left, and it's except for the whole body is a very light gold. Basically like a gold gourami, except for it's actually a pearl gourami. Um, and also an albino version, which I don't think it looks good, because you can't see all the beautiful white spots. Um, these fish will inhabit the top and middle of your tank, and sometimes they'll go down to the bottom to pick up any food that they find that, they find that hasn't been eaten yet. They eat flake, freeze-dried, freeze-dried, bloodworms, brine shrimp, pellet, and as an extra bonus, as if, like, if it ever becomes a problem, these fish eat hydra. They have an amazing ability to get over the poisons that the hydra has to catch its prey, and hydra actually has become a problem in tanks to, like, kill, to kill small or slow-moving fish, because they have... 
Hydra Hunt by sending out and it pulls it in with this poison that paralyzes it, thus killing the animal. Um, this fish, oh, I love this picture. This fish needs to be in groups of at least one male and one female. I, I've heard of stories of people keeping more than one male, more than one male and a group of females or more than one and a male and it's certain, it, I've heard great things about it. But I haven't heard anything good on if people have kept a group of females together or a group of males. I, I don't know if it's just their specific stories or if that's just rule. Again, if you've owned them and you know this, can you send me something to let me know? Um, let's see. These fish have an average lifespan of five to eight years. Reports of this fish living to be 17. That's with like extremely great care. Like you don't even, oh, I, w I would love to have a 17 year old fish. I would. Ease of care, this fish is a moderate, Moderately easy. Because of the fact that it has these long flowing fins, it can't be kept with all com with every community fish because active fish that might nip at the small little parts at the bottom. And ease of breeding, it is... I've heard... Well, actually, I've heard stories of them breeding in the community tank. They'll find corners where there isn't much water flow and they'll just build the bubble nest and... One day you'll see the male breeding with the fe with any females you have in the tank. Um, that's just about it I have for for that. You can comment any other fish you you want me to do. I'm certainly open for suggestions, fresh water or salt water, anything. Just definitely post the photo. Po not post the photo. Post it with this juvenile. Isn't he wonderful? I just want him. Okay. See ya.